Okay, let's say you want to set up your X input, your Xbox controller, or your direct input, literally a ton of other controllers with Steam with the new update. Fairly simple to do. Uh, op into the Steam client beta. It'll just should automatically download and update. Go to the cog, top right, go to controller settings, and tick whatever box you want. Say, Xbox controller. Now, I would need to unplug this, but since this is a Logitech F310 and has a hardware switch that I can turn on and off, well, there you go. It's now a Steam controller. Say, go to Torchlight, controller, and there you go. It's just that easy. Uh, that's X input. With D input, or direct input, it's a bit more difficult. So I'll switch it over to direct input, and this is what the controller is. First, you have to go through and set all the buttons. It can take, depending on your device and how you want to set it up, anywhere from a minute to 10 minutes. I said 10 minutes because uh, flight sticks, for example. If I were to set up my flight stick from over there, it would take a while. So you go through, you set everything up. You don't actually have to set the guide button. That's completely optional. Um, I want to see if I actually can. No, I cannot. The middle button right here doesn't actually allow that. But map everything. Uh, exactly how it is on the controller in theory. Bam. Whole thing is saved. Save. Uh, name the controller. You would want to name it because uh, to separate, oh yeah, this is for this controller, this is for this controller, and not get confused. Turn on uh, support, unplug, and then plug the controller back in. It'll show up as generic X input, but say I turn it off and on, and I crash the computer. Okay, so you turn off and turn on the controller. It doesn't matter if Xbox support is turned on, if you have a direct input controller, period. It'll just be renamed as generic X input device, if you haven't named it. I named it Logitech F310D input, because that's what it is. Uh, I'm just gonna leave that turned on. Now if I were to go say Torchlight, my name controller, and there you go. Literally, very fast, very, very quick. Uh, you won't get, like if I were to play with this consistently, I wouldn't get gyroscope or touchpad support in my X input slash D input controllers, but there you go. You can now set up literally any controller, any controller with Steam Controller API or the Steam Controller API. And there you go. It's that easy. If you have enough buttons to actually map the guide button, or if it supports mapping the guide button 
Let's say I switch back over to the S input version. I go to desktop, uh, not desktop, chord. Okay, I want to use the right analog stick with the guide button. Okay, click up, click, and it's that doable. It just works. With direct input, you need to map the guide button. Say, for example, switch over to that. It'll show as direct input. Now, if I want, not that, cord, I can't actually use it. Because if I, this guide button actually does not work. So, keep that in mind with direct input controllers. You will need to map everything first. Uh, say, uh, if I were to plug in a controller I didn't map already, and already had generic gamepad configuration support ticked, it would first prompt me, okay, map this first, and then we'll give you the, uh, this, uh, screen. Otherwise, it will be just the default. This is direct input, map it first. And that's literally it. Uh, I just want to say, I found it hilarious in the last video, the responses I got on the subreddit, and I bet five bucks no one is listening by this point. You guys have a good one, I'll see ya.